Dr. Trundle's husband. Yeah. I remember him from the picture. Yeah, right. Yeah, I saw him yesterday in the reception area. Really? Huh. Yeah, he's probably on his way to the lecture. Yeah. Is that Dr. Trundle? God. It. Oh, LD, Christ. she's giving him a blowjob? That's what it looks like. Oh, my gosh! Wow. Oh, no. Oh, huh? no, 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 no. LD, I want you to turn this car around. What? Turn the car around! Sue, I said she's giving him a blowjob. No, no, big no, deal. no, no, no. I can't trust a woman like that to cure my cancer doing something like that in the car. Are you kidding me? But she must have been doing it for therapeutic reasons. I want you to take me home, LD. Electra! LD, turn this car around. Why didn't she come to the lecture? You really want to know why? Of course I do. Okay. I'm going to tell you. We were driving to the lecture. We were on our way. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed your husband in the car ahead of us. And then you picked your head up off of his lap. And Loretta decided that she didn't want anything to do with a doctor who would, you know, do that. Who would do what? Come on. Oh, my. My husband was driving the car, and yes, I dropped my cell phone on his side of the car, and I was looking for the cell phone. You no, know, an awful long time to look for the cell phone. You are so ridiculous. You are so juvenile. You I are don't know. exactly the kind of man I'm talking uh, about in this book. Me? Yes. You are a tiny little insecure, infantile mind of about a 12 year old. I think you blew him. Oh, my. Oh, 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 o